Hey you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of World Domination Civ 5 Style as the Incas. So I think we're gonna go ahead and uh declarify our warify. Or something. So uh listen, Iroquois. I'd like to say we've gotten a long all game. It's been nice that we haven't got actually gone to war, but now it is time. So we're gonna lose three gold per turn, but nothing else. We've got our uh missile cruisers loaded down with uh with nukes. Which we're going to start to deploy right away. Nukeify the capital, Onondaga. We'll probably drop a couple of nukes on there, get them really low. I'm not actually sure we're going to be able to rush in there with our destroy... What, what just happened to the game? Did you guys see it, like, blink out for a second there? Um, you know, could I just nuke the ships? Get them the hell out of the way. Do we actually not have a destroyer ready yet? Oh, it's here. Yeah, we literally don't have a destroyer in range. Um... But otherwise, its movement is pretty good. Mm hmm. We could do this. Is that crazy? Our missile cruisers can probably just tear these things up. Well, we know we want to nuke Onondaga twice. Just to get it even lower, easier to capture. You know what? I'm going to do this. It's a little nuts. But it eliminates, like, a whole lot of potential problems. And then we can just focus on blowing up the other ships over here. Actually, why am I starting on the cruiser? That's stupid. We'll just make sure to maintain... Oops. Full naval superiority over here, which will put us in good stead. Um, oh, yeah, right. We don't need the destroyers, derp. Nuke twice, drop XCOMs. Vroom. Uh, we have more XCOM squads over here. What's the hotkey for this? P for paratroop or parachute. That's a lot. I mean, they've got some troops, including actual mechanized infantry, which is pretty good. But um, I think we'll be fine. I can march through Laventa territory. Laventa, who's now at war over there, which is quite nice for me. Um, you know what? We've got naval superiority now. Let's let's pick up the bombardment ability. And uh, oh, actually, maybe hit the sub. And finish it off. We don't really need destroyer. We're going to put ourselves in danger. There's a lot of rocket artillery. Mm, maybe we'll wait. We'll move you up over this way. That'll be fine. Hey, we got a modern armor for free, which we can upgrade to a giant death robot for 170 bucks. But we're currently losing some money, so I don't think we're going to do that. We'll just uh, drive you through over here. Got that jet fighter, but I don't think we want to do anything with it. Um, oh, the north. We can't forget the north, where we need to blow up a lot of stuff. Starting with nuclear submarines, which you can basically kill for free. Um, oh, this is my, uh, the destroyer. I'm like, why can't I shoot? Um, let's do that, and let's try to get an actual kill over here. Whoa, more submarines. You know, it's not the end of the world if we end up losing our destroyers. Oh, I didn't actually kill that. Mm, that's a little bit less good, then. Um, you guys just wait a turn. XCOM squad will give you a level of cover as well. Uh, oh, right, I have to remember to take actions over here. Can I not see Cuba? How's that possible? Well, you know what? Let's, let's kill the units. Do it that way. I don't need to necessarily move my giant death robots. I mean, they don't have a defensive bonus, but that's okay. Can I drop all the way over here? Uh, I can. Actually, oh yeah, I can. All the way here. Completely surround the city, because we'll probably lose some units, but then we'll have some left. And the key is to take on Ondaga. Uh, XCOM squads. Build more. I don't think it'll matter. Do we only need to take... No, we still have to take Babylon as well, which I keep forgetting about. Um, yeah, you start with Drill. Because of a wonder? 
presumably. We'll do that. See, so yeah, I can't forget Babylon. But other than that, as, as soon as these guys fall... Actually, I suppose one of the things I could have done is I could have started with Babylon and then gone and attacked these guys with the idea that as soon as I've got the capitals, I win. I don't have to even worry about piecing them out, uh, which might be convenient. Anyway, let's do a full surround over here. It'd be a little annoying if I get nuked back. Do we even have... They must have uranium. It'd be kind of interesting if they didn't, though. Hmm... Uh, more XCOMs. XCOMs all day long. Um, except for you. Could also use more nukes. So, th the atomic bombs have to be put on aircraft carriers, because you do use planes. I don't think we'll get an, um, a nuclear missile done in time to be able to participate in the next war. Um, on the other hand, we could just start building a few guided missiles. And that might be pretty handy as well, as a cheap way to just win. Um, you built a market, so you want a bank next. Oh, you already have a bank. And a stock exchange. Oh, okay, that works out. We need more happiness buildings? We could just, like, make wealth at this point. Which might be a good idea to start squeezing that out. Yeah, let's go wealth. Be gold-focused. That'll be perfectly fine. Um, I could win right now. <laughs> I could win right now a diplomatic victory. Just for the record, in case anything goes south, let it be shown that I could win right now by voting for myself. However, I will abstain. Um, because, yep, I want to win a, um, a domination victory. Because that sounds like fun. So, trying to, wait, oh, I had you selected. You over here, I don't think it makes sense for you to drop onto Jakarta or anything yet. I think dropping here is a good idea. Did you go? Can you not drop there? Oh, right, I keep doing that. That's Old Faithful. I can't drop on Old Faithful. I could drop adjacent to Cuba, uh, since Cuba could also bombard my rocket artillery, and I would prefer that it didn't. This will also protect my rocket artillery a bit more. Oh, shite. Well, that's interesting. And f fine. I mean, you might nuke... Oh, right, I've got all my bombers. Um, you have You have a couple of fighters. So, which ones do have the, um, the interception protection? Like you. That's fine. Also, being a stealth bomber, you've got super evasion bonus to start off with. And maybe it doesn't stack, actually. In which case, it may have been silly to do this. No, I think they do, they, they do stack. They're not immune to interception. It's just harder. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade you, then. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, one more stealth bomber that can go. Oh yeah, you're the one who can attack twice. Because if we can actually finish Cuba this turn, we get to take all that shit out of the game, which is amazing. Okay, the XCOM squad may not succeed. This one should. If it didn't, it had a backup. <gasps> That's amazing! We destroyed two fighters, two bombers, and an atomic bomb. Holy crap, that is fantastic. Uh, do we want to keep the city or raise it? I will keep it, actually, just to give myself some territory over here. You know, I don't really want it. Um, all these are units that can't move this turn, right? Yes. Giant Death Robot, do not stay in the city, because there's such a good chance that it might fall. Um, but you could go and raise something. No, you're out of move, so you can't, actually. You stay and protect there. You giant death robot. Now, we might get nuked if they have any more, but they don't have any planes in Jakarta. Which is good. Uh, giant robot should actually stay here and protect my rocket artillery, so that makes a lot of sense. You do nothing, you do nothing. Okay. So, even with all the nuking, we're only at war with Iroquois and Kabul. Oh, Kabul, which, right, had changed. Uh, should have been on my side, but... I nuked them that one time accidentally. Long term, 
but I think a pretty productive turn. Uh, Oliver Cromwell uh, is not going to move up quite yet. Stay put, buddy. No, don't pan over like crazy. So, he'd have to nuke his own city to kill all these SCOM squads, so he's not going to do that. Okay, lots of shit just went down. I did lose a destroyer. Oh, right, the one I'd moved up with. That was a mistake, but I still have a spare destroyer, not to mention a crap ton of XCOM squads. So what are we going to propose over here? We could ban some stuff, but who cares about doing that? Um, oh, that's that's to, yeah, pull it back, so let's not pull anything back. Nuclear non-proliferation. No more nukes allowed. I, I don't really care what we get anymore. Standing army tax, no. Here, we'll embargo, um, actually, embargo the Iroquois. They're pretty big. That'd be really nice to pass that. Uh, another destroyer, which is fine. And yeah, let's let's build some um, let's build some random guided missiles, and we'll just put them on a missile cruisers. Uh, we should probably take the free kill on the military units, but actually, Levento will probably bomb that in a second anyway. So, oh well, let's kill the submarines when we get a chance. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. This destroyer took a lot of damage. Um, okay, the aircraft carriers are not a threat. It would be nice to bomb uh, Onondaga down and take it. On the other hand, free military kills. But we got we to gotta take Onondaga. Whoops. Um, I'm doing a stupid job. Right, because of these zones of controls. <laughs> I'm not putting myself in a position to actually do damage to Onondaga. Awesome, I'm so good at this game. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and just melee attack it down. We will create a puppet. We can't raise the capital, obviously. Uh, another destroyer can get a bonus probably against naval units. That's going to be fine. Um, and just come over here to help take this stuff out. So we've got capital number one. Oliver Cromwell doesn't have to move. This destroyer should probably, let's say run away. Uh, well, he would get bombarded, but there's a lot of free kills ready to be taken. I think it makes more sense to have him run away. We, we want them for, um... oh, this guy could still take an action. Derp derp. I'll take the free kills over here. We might still lose Onondaga quite easily here. That's a lot of troops. I think there's going to be a lot of back and forth in this area. Um, so just fortify, fortify. Uh, trade route. Highest gold, go to Troy. Should be relatively safe as well. Um, automate the worker. Stealth bomber, what kind of range you got there, buddy boy? Pretty good. Do we need to blow up some ships first? I think so. Blow ship up. Babylonian carrier with some bombers. Interesting. I mean, we mostly have bonuses to hitting cities. Um, and here I'm going to want to grab Siege 3. Bonus against naval units might actually pay off here. But I think the, the cities is still generally the way to go, even though we're bombing naval units right now. Good, good. Um, targeting is fine. We don't have to worry about the carrier. It's not a threat in any way. Well, let's start hitting, let's start hitting Jakarta. Another stealth bomber. It does repair automatically. Hmm. I don't think we're getting intercepted. No, we're fine there. Good. Rocket artillery can uh, move forward-ish. Um, do this. Move you there. Um, yeah, it's kind of being difficult, isn't it? Move you sort of in the way. 
XCOM squad, we're going to get you to drop in here. And play interference. There we go. You just sit tight. I mean, we won't get a defensive bonus. Uh, we could actually afford to go into the water here. We should be safe. So we're not going to get a defensive bonus on the giant death robot, but still ha forcing them to attack me makes more sense for me to attacking a fortified, forted person. Uh, charge is nice. But I really want the double attack, which I think is going to require shock three. Um, and you sit tight. I think you're relatively safe. You just rest and heal up. Um, the destroyer could attack now. Could attack here, but can also reach the city where he should be safe and could even heal a tick or just go into friendly waters at least. Next turn we might have him heal. We'll see how it goes. XCOM squad, stay where you are. Cobble declared war on me. Yeah, that's fine. This is that like 15 minutes for two turns? The big hairy turns. Wow, that's a lot of units! <sighs> Instead of nuking the ships, I could have just like nuked something over here. Like if I were to nuke, uh, nuke Osininka right now, it would kill off a lot of really bad stuff. On the other hand, getting those ships out of the way sooner was pretty good. I can't really complain about that. Um, well, either way, we're going to move pretty slow here. Move to there. Move to there. That's going to be fine. We got the jet fighter, which is, I guess, okay. We could reposition it to Onondaga, but that would be pretty foolish um, because it's probably going to fall really soon. We've got more ground-based stuff. Um, well, I think that's fine. Yeah, Onondaga probably falls again. And we probably lose some of our XCOM squads. Good thing we're building them en masse. Because we're going to need some replacements. No, we didn't actually lose the city. It took a bombard, but they weren't actually be able to get in there with a melee unit. Very nice. Very, very nice. And what I'll probably do is move this XCOM squad out of the city to defend on this flank. Just put it up on one of these hills. Like so. I'm not going to have it attack. They can attack into me. Uh, missile cruisers. Do we need to move up at all? Do we want to? What do we want to actually hit over here? We don't need to hit that. Uh, going for kills is probably... Yeah, let's grab kills where we can. Always a fine thing. Uh, oh yeah, this guy can actually bombard me off the coast, which is kind of annoying. On the other hand, he shouldn't be able to kill my ship, and if he wants to spend time killing, er, at hurting my ships a little bit rather than making progress towards Onondaga, uh, that's not going to be so bad altogether. Hmm. Well, let's hit that then. And that, good. And this battleship... We're going to go ahead and give you Bombardment. And maybe we can have you rest. Although, well, there's missile attacks and things. There are things that can hit this ship. I can move it further out to sea and then just have it rest. Might be the way to go. Uh, this missile cruiser can probably go ahead and take a free kill over there. That's going to be fine. This destroyer, go ahead and rest in friendly territory. Another destroyer is probably not going to be accomplishing much. Um, move out over here. This is mobile armor, so it doesn't get defense bonuses. Still, we can go here and then just wait. Force them to attack me. Um, so these airstrikes on these uh, rockets, they actually pretty have decent range. We could just, like, basically we're just throwing hammers. At this. Really? That's all we did? Ah, well, crap that. Um, again, we'll keep reinforcing this sort of edge of things. So these stealth bombers, what can Cuba attack? Oh. Oh, here. There we go. That's what we wanted to do. Um, we're definitely going to move them down here, I think, at some point, but it's still too early for that. Oliver Cromwell, stay where you are. I guess we keep attacking Jakarta for now. That makes sense. Nice damage. Uh, you go ahead and heal. 
Actually, instead, I hit H to force that guy to heal. I probably should have just had him wait one turn. Because if he's not too low, it becomes very, very viable for us to just um, go ahead and attack anyway. Just because he's got the auto heal and everything. Boom. So we're not going to liberate it. But we will create a puppet. Okay, now we're just missing Babylon. I don't suppose by any chance you're interested in piecing out, are you? No. And understandably, Onondaga can still definitely be taken. This is a lot of really, really, really great territory, though. Wow. Giant Death Robot, go and finish the bazooka. Um, Jakarta should actually be safe. I don't think he's got enough units, and I have tons of units up here, ground units, to keep it. So what I'd like to do is actually paradrop my XCOM trooper around Onondaga over here. God, XCOMs are great. I've never played to the late stage of the game. I'm happy to win and just take the diplomatic victory. That would have been lame. Um, yeah, you can go back on shore. We really don't need Cuba anymore. Uh, should I just kill the carrier because it's here? I guess. That's fine. And yeah, we can basically just start swinging south with this uh, carrier over here. Or the missile cruiser. Um, and yeah, we'll take the bombardment. Should have been a little bit more cautious, just in case there happened to be a, uh, a submarine kicking around. I think I'm going to... I don't, I don't want to get bombarded over here. I could just move off here, but there's a good chance a ship will find me. Uh, so I will just try to run this way as much as possible. Go to friendly territory and heal up there, play nice and safe. Um, promotions available. Well, we could get a second level of cover, which honestly would not be terrible. Because he won't be able to make any progress in here if he doesn't, like, manage to bombard me. On the other hand, if you go to three, then you can lock some stuff. You know what? I think it makes a lot of sense to grab a second level of cover on these XCOM artillery. Um, bazooka, move forward as much as you can, which is not going to be too terribly much. And uh, rocket artillery. There you go. We're going to put a giant death robot in front of Jakarta that way. We'll move forward with our rocket artillery a bit more. So we'll do that. Keep them nice and safe. Keep the flank going. Ooh, watch out for uh, Montgomery over here. We'll put a giant death robot on him. You sit tight where you are. Come squad, fortify. Be really nice if you get a promotion. I could pull you back into the city. Or I might be able to do a swappy do actually. I'm worried about losing the city, but yeah. Well, we can do this, and then I can do... Oh, I can't do that. Technically opens up a bit of a gap, but maybe not one that can actually be exploited. I can move troops this way, uh, and I guess this guy can't fortify, because he just... He's already used a movement. Question, can this guy fortify? No, he's low on movement as well. Okay, move there, and move there. I think that'll be a slightly better defensive structure, and lets this guy pull back. Although I shouldn't be that worried about losing one XCOM squad. Arsenal is done. Great! Speaking of XCOM squads, build more of those. And uh, I know not, you know, only three turns have gone by in this video, I think. Maybe four. I think three, though. But uh, we're getting some stuff done. As soon as we can get uh, Iroquois to just peace out with us, then we just move everything down to Babylon and win. Which may be next video, but it wouldn't surprise me if we spend all of the next video still fighting these guys just to hold on to territory. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.